I have my mic on. Hello, everybody. We're putting our mic on right now, and uh, we're waiting to get the seminar started. I'm Dr. Dennis Mariano, and this is our transformational healing seminar. And tonight we have a really special topic. Um, we had a guest speaker that was going to do this. However, we decided to do it on our own instead. So tonight's topic actually is about don't eat that organic food until you hear this. So what does organic really mean? So before we get started, we always want to go to our statement of purpose and our catalyzing statement. Our purpose is to provide the best technology in holistic health and life care. And why? Because we want to inspire people to live thriving lives so they can be a beacon of hope for others. Because think about this, how can you live your life on purpose when you're in pain, when you don't feel good, when your body's not functioning properly, right? What do you do? You just, you're not really living to give to others, but you're just worried about surviving. You know, we just came back from a seminar, or not a seminar, but a visit to Cape Cod. Uh, I went to visit my holistic cardiologist there. And um, it was so sad to see people when we're going to breakfast in their 70s and 80s and everybody had, most everybody was all broken down. Their bodies had broken down because they never took care of it properly. They're in walkers and wheelchairs and canes and it was really hard for them to basically even stand up. And you know, you can't really blame those people. They didn't have early warning from the people, their doctors, to say, hey, by the way, you need to take care of your spine and nervous system so your body doesn't break down and stay in a catabolic mode. But it was so sad to see that. And um, so I told that to my 13-year-old. I said, hey, Cameron, you know what? Look at these people. You know, that's really a result of not taking care of your spine and your nervous system. And it's a sad thing to see because it's really unnecessary because they had, didn't have a new early warning. And he goes, oh, you're being judgmental, Dad. And I said, no, 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 it's not being judgmental. I'm observing what happens to your spine and nervous system when you don't take care of it. So when, since we came back, I really you know, celebrated the fact that we have a practice where people get it, that they understand that the master control of the body is your spine and nerve system. And everything you're doing now, physically, emotionally, chemically, in a good way, is preparing you to be a healthy 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 year old because you're doing what you need to do now to create the health that you have, you will have in the future. Because guess what? What they have now is a consequence of what they didn't do, right? Because they didn't know the information that we're gonna be providing for you tonight. So again, we want everybody to be able to thrive and help others to be a beacon of hope. You can't do that if you don't understand the principles and that's what we're here to do every Tuesday to be sure that you are um, a connected with us with regard to the principles of how life works. Again, there's always physical, emotional, and chemical components that allow you to be healthy. And also, if these are out of balance, it will also create disease or sickness in your body. So organic, let's go right to it then. Organic does not mean non-GMO. What does that mean? So when something's organic, you could still be genetically modified, right? Mm -hmm. And so what is genetic modification? Do you guys know the mechanism behind that? Yeah, th so you alter, usually it's a plant or a fruit, right, mm -hmm. or a, a vegetable. They alter this um, by putting a different gene inside that plant so it can resist Roundup, which is a pesticide or mm -hmm. a weed killer. So think about it, if it's supposed to kill the plant, right, mm -hmm. because of the chemicals, so they want to alter it genetically. So therefore the body then, when you eat that plant, it's not the way God made it, where you have the proper enzymes to break it down. And that creates a lot of problems in the system. So you have to be careful. Just because something's organic, it does not mean it's not genetically modified. You have to be sure that it's both genetically non-GMO and also organic. So non-GMO, however, is better than conventional foods. How come? because of all the pesticides, right? And also um, conventional foods, they just like, they just blast them with all kinds of chemicals. And therefore not only are you eating things that are not healthy for you, but on top of that, you're becoming toxic as well as a consequence of that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what you wanna do uh, to look for, you need to look for the USDA organic or third party organic certification like Oregon, TELF, CCOF, etc. Take a look at those certifications that are third party 
so this way you know but even then you know in today's world the problem is not and again going back to the principles it's not so much what people say if you can trust it the ethics are gone there's no th right or wrong there's no God there's no this there's no that it's no truth it's like it's all relative you could be whatever you want to do you could you know and it's like but that's where we are right now so that's really hard as a consequence of not wanting to follow God's laws we just make up our own laws now you don't know what truth is so you don't even know who to trust it's a challenge it's really a challenge so yeah look for those the best that you can if they are telling the truth then you have to look for those uh, organic third-party certifications <sighs> organic junk food is still junk food right yeah. so just because it says organic and you know a lot of people that just because it's organic or, or um, uh, gluten-free, processed foods is processed foods. Mm -hmm. So the majority of your food should not have a label. Like you shouldn't have a label on your, you know, beans and potatoes and greens and so on. You should not have a label on it. Mm -hmm. But if it does, then that's usually not a good thing. Packaged organic foods, right, can still be high in sugar, for example, in many different forms. You can have bad cheap oils like sunflower oil, safflower, all these oils, canola, they actually uh, they break down, they become omega-6s and they inflame your system and it doesn't allow you. So you got to be careful <clears throat> with these oils that the best thing to do is basically do the um, olive oil, right? Mm -hmm. Butter, you know, avocado oil, but all these other um, cheap oils, they break down and it doesn't allow your system to function the way it's supposed to. See, because it's natural, they're still referred to as natural, but they're really chemicals. So you really have to be careful to read those, um, uh, that information. <clears throat> so when you purchase organic foods with or without a label, you got to know your source. And that's the best thing to do is that you have somewhere where you can go to a farmer's market. I think we have her in Malvern, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have one in Malvern. We have one in um, uh, Phoenixville. Downingtown as well, yeah. So it's you know we need to get back to the basics, know the people that you know we're buying from. And here's another thing that's just not on here. Just because it's Amish, does that mean it's organic? Why? Yeah, because they still use chemicals. I have people that actually patients here that live in Gap, and they said you know they see that all the time. That doesn't mean they're organic. They still use pesticides to, to increase their yield. You know, um, you would think that they would you know stick with the old way of doing things but you get more profit by making sure that your plants are healthy looking <clears throat> if you can't buy organic produce avoid the dirty dozens that mean you know what that means mm -hmm. why, why? Um, you want to make sure there's the um, mm -hmm. kind of produce that it has higher doses of pesticides yeah yeah so the dirty dozen is is the produce that has high doses of pesticides so that would be strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, anything that you can they can spray, right? Tomatoes especially, even celery, and then potatoes, and you would think potatoes are underneath the ground, right? But they think they still spray it. And then sweet bell pepper. There's all the good stuff that if you did organic it would be awesome, right? I mean that's making me hungry right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you spray it with junk, it's just like, it's such a shame because it's all for the, you know, for the dollar. There's some organizations like Carnicopia. It's an excellent resource for all organic things. The organization helps ferret out companies that are cheating the customers into believing that the foods are organic. So that's a good, so those of you online, make sure you make a note of that to save the video and look at it up later on. Rodell Institute has great resources for learning more about organic the organic movement as well. So shop at stores that primarily carry organic non-GMO products. That's a good way to look at things. So these uh, proprietors have better deals with distributors and their reputation for healthy foods is important to them because they're, you know, mom and pop stores. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to, you know, they don't want you buying junk from them because it affects their um, their what? Their motto. Yeah, their motto. Their, and then also their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, <clears throat> your, I can't think of the word. Reputation. Uh, your what? Reputation. 
the reputation, yeah, it messes up your reputation if you end up buying. It's like an Amazon, you buy one thing and somebody doesn't know how to use it, they put like a one star on there because they don't know how to use it and it really wasn't the product. Right. You know what I mean? So the same thing with this stuff, like you, they really have to be careful. So if you do, if you um, know the people that you um, are, have a good reputations, then uh, a good place is like the, um, what's the pharmacy, Lionville, right? Yeah, they have some good stuff in there. Have you guys been there at all? Lionville Pharmacy? It's on 113. Uh, it's not that far. So. Yeah, it's some good stuff in there. You'll like, go broke. So. Yeah, we usually go to Kimberton. <coughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, Kimberton Whole Foods is really good. They have six locations. Uh, Mom's Organic Grocer also to an extent and Whole Foods. However, we really need to watch out what's in Whole Foods anymore, right? Because what happened? Who took it over? Right, and then it's about the bottom line more than the organics. So you just have to, again, you have to follow, you know, the chiropractic school that I went to used to be a really good school, but when you, it's not about the school itself, it's the politics behind it because it's the people that run it. I wouldn't send anybody to the school I went to. I would send them to a different school because of the politics. Wow. Because again, you know, once you lose the philosophy and once you lose the reason and principles, and then you basically just are like anything else. And you know, you always want to have people around you, you know, life's short and then so am I. No, wait, that's not what I meant to say. <coughs> so, but that's true. <laughs> and you want to value every day and you want to surround yourself with people that support your values. You know, it doesn't make them right or wrong, but if you have people around you to support your values. So it's the same thing with these um, or, um, f stores. You have to know, you have to do your research. And some of the stuff at Wegmans is also good too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Wegmans, that's right. Wegmans also carries that. Um, because, yeah, the org again, you just got to watch the labels and so on. So many people who, who shop there don't realize that most of what they sell, this is Whole Foods, is not organic and in some cases it's not even non GMO. Even if you, I remember um, when they started switching over, uh, probably maybe 10 years ago, um, you started to see even in the uh, meat department, like, there was non-organic, free-range, grass-fed beef. It just said USDA, you know what I mean? Look at that now. I mean, if you look in there, it's not all organic. You gotta be careful. Um, so, yeah, these are some of the organizations for you guys online that you can look up. Just a lot of different things. You can just put, you know, organic places, certification, <coughs> organic farmers association, take a look at it and it'll give you lots and lots of information. <clears throat> Again, the bottom line, why do we do th these things? Because it's important to have a good nervous system, right? You gotta feed that nervous system. But here's another thing, you can eat all the organic foods that you want, but if you have a nervous system that's not functioning properly, it'll be hard to really mod you know, affect it. If you have good nerve function, you have good uh, communication, you have good function, you have good health. When you have misalignments in the spine that interfere with that, and you know what, it's not even just the vertebrae, it's tension in the cord, it's tension in the tone of the nervous system, and going into sympathetic dominance mode. When you have this miscommunication, the body becomes hypertonic, right? You affect your organ systems, and you basically go to autonomic imbalance. And that's why the digestion doesn't work properly, the musculoskeletal, the neurological system, when you go into sympathetic dominance mode, the body then is in fight or flight, yes? And it's not in healing and repair. You go into catabolic or breakdown mode instead of you know, healing mode. So really important to understand that. <clears throat> and again, your nervous system is the most important thing. And we're very, very fortunate in our practice to know that as a foundation because that's really what separates us from everybody else, right? If you can keep your nervous system clear, then everything else becomes secondary as a consequence of that. Because you should have optimal health, but if you have misalignments in your spine or the rest of your nervous system, it becomes interfered with. What happens next? Malfunction. Body malfunctions. You got all kinds of, you got, lose your health, and then you end up having all these symptoms. A lot of people try to fix these symptoms, and you know you were just somewhere this you know, weekend that you didn't want to be. Yeah. And it's not about looking at your symptoms, it's looking for function in the body. So the best thing you could do to keep optimal health, to keep to optimally healthy, keep your nervous system clean, and then the body can be in an adaptive state instead of a breakdown state. Mm -hmm. And that's it for this evening. And again, to share with you um, the best technology in holistic health and life care, part of it is proper information. And we really want to inspire you to be in thriving mode as opposed to um, you know, getting by mode. It's going to take some time. You know you've been doing your labs now, so 
we'll be, we'll be able to get a little bit deeper into what challenges you, your health um, that you're facing and to get to the bottom of it by looking at numbers and data which you like because that's the way you work anyway so and then you'll be able to monitor that as time goes by <clears throat> the heavy burden I carry always is that you know it's not a lot of people that know that we know um, and the traditional model out there as you know is not really well versed when it comes to what health is about um, the traditional model is there to keep you alive and to keep you out of pain but when it comes to holistic health which is allowing you to create a healthy lifestyle and allowing your nervous system to do so that not a lot of people know about it and it's a sad state because um, no, nobody gave them those people in Cape Cod early warning signals that they were going to be unhealthy people at the end because not knowing what they need to know our website's drmariano.com please go on there and also we are on Facebook YouTube Instagram please look us up on there and then if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and if you found any kind of inspiration in anything that we said tonight even in one small iota please let us know by making comments on there and give us a like and then if you have friends and family that you know need to hear this information that are suffering and they don't have the information please pass this on to them and if you yourself are having challenges give us a call and see what we can do to help you and we invite you to come to these seminars so this way that you can learn principles that will help you stay healthy our next seminar is to our favorite is let your muscle let your body be your guide learn how to muscle test and if you want to come in for um, a refresher come on in it's next next Tuesday at 6 30 p.m. so let's finish up with this poem thank you for being here uh, it doesn't interest me what you do for a living I want to know what you ache for if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me that what planets are squaring with your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow, if you've been opened by life's betrayals or have become shriveled or closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it or fade it or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own. If you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, be realistic. Remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me if the story you're telling me is true. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul. If you can be faithless and therefore trustworthy. I want to know if you can see beauty even when it's not pretty every day and if you can source your own life from its presence. I want to know if you can live with failure, yours and mine, and still stand at the edge of lake, at the lake and shout to the silver of the moon, yes. It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, to do what needs to be done to protect the children doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here I want you to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep and the empty moments thank you so much for being here and until our next seminar I'm Dr. Dennis Mariano have a good evening. Take care. See you in the next video.